everybody and welcome back to another video of Inside the Museum. My name is Maria and I'm an anthropologist and I'm also an educator at History Miami Museum. Today I'll be talking a little bit about folk life and what it is and I'll be talking about a folkloric instrument later on in the video. But let's start with what is folk life and what is South Florida folk life which I'm going to read off of my page right here. Stretching from Lake Okeechobee in the north to Key West in the south, South Florida includes urban centers, ranches and farms, Seminole and Miccosukee reservations, wetlands, islands, and more. The region's folk life consists of a wide variety of grassroots cultural practices, each learned informally through participating in the cultural life of a particular community. Types of folk life include music, dance, foodways, religious traditions, occupational skills, recreational activities, and so much more. These practices connect us to our past, express who we are, and give South Florida its unique character. So today I'm going to be focusing on music, and I'm going to be talking about a Venezuelan instrument called cuatro. Most of Venezuelan folkloric music relies on the cuatro as its rhythmic and harmonic bass. The instrument is used in various regions of Venezuela, from Joropos in the Llanos to Gaitas Zulianas. This is a cuatro. As you can see, it might remind you of a guitar. Um, the main difference is that instead of six chords, it has four. So one, one, two, three, four. It has four chords. It's composed very similar uh, to a guitar. It has um, the peg box, which is up here where you tune it. It has its neck. Um, it has its body, right? Its body, which is this. And it has a bridge just down here where the nylon strings connect to. But like I mentioned, the main difference is its four chords. Cuatros are made out of wood. Um, you can choose the wood you want your cuatro to be made out of. This cuatro that I've been showing you is made out of redwood and cedar wood. Um, it is beautiful, as you can see. It's very dark, right? So it's redwood and cedar wood. And this right here, this part, is an acoustic board. There are other cuatros that are made of different woods. For example, this is a different cuatro. This one is made out of Indian rosewood. Um, as you can see, the color is different, but not just the color and the look of it is different, but also the sound. Um, depending on the wood that you use and the properties of the wood, um, the sound of the cuatro will be different. The first cuatro we're going to listen to is made from red wood and cedar wood. to the cuatro made from Indian rosewood. sets of instruments, usually harps, vocals, maracas, um, bass. Uh, they can't stand on their own, they, they can be played on their own and it sounds amazing, um, but usually it's accompanied by other sets of instruments. My personal favorite are flutes. I love the sound of the combination of cuatros and flutes. Some of the big names in Venezuelan folkloric music include Simon Diaz, Rafael Brito, and Henry Linares. Henry Linares actually played on our 2019 Culture Fest. Um, it was an amazing time and he actually played the cuatro. Venezuelan music is used to bring people together, not just for religious reasons, but for festivities, for birthdays, anniversaries, and anything else special that might be happening in somebody's life. Uh, music, Venezuelan folkloric music, 
um, tells a story. It usually tells a very long story um, from beginning to end, just like a book. I am so happy I was able to share with y'all just a little bit of Venezuelan culture through music and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and we'll see you again in our next Inside the Museum video. Bye!